Howdy y'all, this is Reckless Raven, and welcome back to our adventures here with Carl's Carnivores, where last time we had um, the birth of our newest child, uh, Scallion, um, daughter of Katara and Tataran, and then we had um, invited in the water um, Nano, who who's immunity genes paired up with Miana very well and I wanted to get his genes into our tribe. Um, I probably should have picked a better meat for her, but I just it felt more right to have them be meats, so that's who she's gonna be made with. And then over here we have Ananako, who is going to be mated with Earl. Yeah. Earl. And then um, we need to find Duke a mate soon. And then decided that the creatures that have been mated with someone, we're going to change their gemstone colors up. They're going to have their mated color in the middle and then go back to green, signifying they are a mated pair, but they're not having babies anymore. So that's how things are going over there and then um, on, on that front uh, and also decided that they're we're going to cap them at having three babies per um, pairing unless we have a really strong pairing that we're hoping to get really good genes from and then also we have Kale who's going to pass away in a couple of days and so is um, Kyle Kyle has two days left. We'll let him wander this way and try to do a little bit of hunting on his own. But other than that, he's going to be over here on his, uh, basically by himself to um, pass away away from everyone. That's what we've, I forgot, that's what we've decided to do with our creatures. So, anyway, let's jump in and get to work getting started on everything. First things first, this bunny is gonna go. I'm gonna leave you there for just a moment. Um, I should have done y'all these two's um, jeans. We're gonna do eyesight and let's see. For him, I'm gonna do fertility and thinking mega horns. So let's do fertility and this. There we go. And for her, we're gonna do eyesight. I think fertility as well. No, eyesight and claw. So let's see. Normal eyesight and claw. Hard to do a lot of hunting when your um, eyesight is restricted. Okay, so we're gonna have. That is tapped out, so can you reach that? No, but he can. Ah, it was after the berries. Good to know. And then... We'll have Nono come over and grab that mole, I think. Me thinks. Where is the fish? I think there was fish in here. Sapphire has grown up and her swimming is a lot stronger than her mother's. A lot stronger. Look at that. She can already jump to up here, I think. There are no fish over here though. Ooh. There's some down further. Okay. 
So we're going to let them water away from the nursery and then we're going to have um, Niana, I think, go on ahead and head up towards the nursery. And I might have Katara take over the other nest so Niana can stay on this side. That way they can stay close to the river. Oh, oops. That's okay. She doesn't need the nest right away, right? Yeah, she's good. She can come help keep the baby nice and nice and warm, and Tatadon can help keep her warm, actually. There we go. Keep them on that side. Um, there are no fish over here. Ooh, but no, we don't need to go backwards. You need to go for forwards. Pre-Row, the only thing we really needed him for was his genetics. So other than that, I think I just need to have him go join the hunting party. Because he really can't do swimming. Um, driftwood and snow are amazing fishers. So we'll have them jump to over here to help with the fishing. And Holly actually is really good at fishing as well. I think I might have her join these guys over here to help. I keep forgetting that I was supposed to have him go after that mole. Okay. Um, we'll have Anamako go on ahead and join up with her mate to get started on their family. Okay, and then Peppermint is usually... No, it's not Peppermint, it's the other one. Peppermint is fine. Cold-wise. So she has... Why is that in the red, though? I don't know. I do not understand. Um, let's have Peppermint come down here. There we go. Little Mingos live... So, let's see... It's two days old. We took out nine days in one hit, and it has four days left. They don't live that long, okay. Um, it's Ellen. Has ten days left. She's hoping to get her mate, Kale, close enough to the uh, healing fruit that he can eat it and have a little bit more time with her. There we go. And Piro, go ahead and take out that bunny. Kyle, jump on this. And let's see, out of you guys. Edgar is cold, of course. Phantom is more than fine. Lorawa is fine. Kylie isn't cold, so I guess. We don't have to have everyone so bundled up. Yeah. For now. Until it gets colder. Um, the only one who needs it is Edgar. So, let's see. Let's have... Uh, Alright, Edgar, jump up here. To light things up a little bit more. Oops. We need to find our friendly Verina again, I think. I'm gonna have Elrara come to keep him warm. And Yvonne to go this way. 
he can't smell or anything. There he is. There's our friendly bear in the front. Okay. Um, the bunny decided to go a different direction. Um, let's see. Actually, C and G. C and G. Okay. I don't have any females over here. A and G. If I remember correctly, Baryinas have G and H. A and G. All of my females have G and H. Scallion, maybe, but Scallion is way too young. Ugh. Do we like Kylie's genetics? Actually, let's get your family tree. Okay. So she has Carl's baby. I think the only ones that were um, the baby of a Bergina were um, Duke and uh, Earl. I could risk it with Kylie and maybe even Phantom. Just because we kind of consider the Bergina's as... Um, not fully part of the tribe. What mutations would I give you though? Um, she's a daughter of our founders, so big body and mega horns. Let's see, what's it? Big body, mega horns, and then for Nightshade, she is also Carl and Chloe, so I would do, oh she got all the good genes, uh, Hammer Tail, just to help that out, and then, uh, I think I would actually do, let's do Bear Eunice now, let's get a little bit of that going in there, so. Um, burying a snout, and what was it? Hammer tail. Just to weed out that um, scorpion tail. There is a, it's down by the prehistoric genes. Okay, yeah, let's see if that um, Baryina has enough life. Oh, I can't click mine. Okay. Let's see if we can't get you two over there real quick. Oh, never mind. Well, I set up the rotation menus for nothing. He's about to die. At least he can be surrounded by friends until then. Oh, rah rah. Went ahead and head on over. And then Phantom to head this way. Because we still need to do the bunny hunting. Last but not least, I believe, is going to be Edgar. There's Kyle getting up on it. And then Edgar. Let's go that way. Okay. That's everyone's turns. I'm sorry, Berina. He moved one tile. the bunnies. All of the food. Look at that. <laughs> okay. Um, come just help out, please, everyone. And that was also the Berina's meat as well. I'm so sorry. I try. Um, let's have you go ahead and head that direction. Go ahead and head this direction. Ginger. Get over enough to pick up something. Same for Elrara. 
And then we will have Edgar bring up the rear. He actually didn't get cold overnight. Who did? No one. Unless Kylie did. Edgar, you can move so far so fast. Come on. And then, so Katara will have her baby overnight. We'll have her just... You weren't supposed to actually get it. Okay. And little baby Scallion got her final gem. Or not final gem, got her second gem. Um, is Sapphire isn't even cold in the water. Cola is cold. So, go ahead and pick up that meat, my dear. I am hoping you have normal eyesight, right? Yes, you do. Okay, go ahead and pick up that, destroy that, so you don't have to worry about any more bunnies. Hold it there so he can jump up there. Oh yeah, Anamako needs to have a baby as well. Actually, that's fine. We'll let her wait another little bit, because Katara is on her final baby. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll wait and see on that. Let's let Nano go ahead and call out. You guys are doing the fishing. We're actually getting a good patch of um, fishing in here. Until we get someone that gets a little stuck to catch them. Okay, let's have Snow come to this spot so she can do coverage there and Driftwood can help with coverage here. And we'll have Scallion come down. I think she'll work on coverage at Sapphire spot and I'll move Sapphire down and we'll move um, Peppermint down. And actually Kale, we'll go on ahead and have you jump over here to grab that for me. And then it's Ellen to help him do that job. Eggnog will have you go on ahead, and I think we'll just have some of y'all go on ahead oops, and wander downwards, downstream, and go start trying to do the ocean type stuff. I think Holly is joining in the fishing group. Cola is cold. So let her sit between these babies. Kuro, we need you to go that way. Okay, and then we need Miana to jump on that nest. You have all three of your turns still. ta ta to so go on ahead and head on this way to help with um, the fishing and everything else. Oh hey, there's a skeleton in the water. That's not one of my skeletons, is it? Oh hi. Yeah, it's not one of my people. I don't think we died in the water. Okay. The only ones left are Miana and Duke. 
Do I want to either push him to go try to collect that meat or just go after this Dodomingo? I kind of just want to take out the Dodomingo. Okay. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Do you have anything around here you can book? No. Alright. Well, we're just going to have to skip the day anyway. I'm sorry. Okay, so that was Kyle who passed, but we had two births. brown baby over here. So cute. He's gonna have so much fishing. So much fun fishing. Um, yeah, so much fun fishing. We need to get the horns back in here. Unfortunately. But he does look really, really freaking cute. And then, um, where is she? No. Mila. Not a whole lot of luck, but we'll keep her in anyway. Um, oh wow. <laughs> she got the swimming body and a wing. I don't think the wing does anything but flying. Yeah, so she, she, ugh. gracious. And then the black with the beige looks really, really cool. And then the brown and the beige. Same color as her father. Alright. And she got the spots. That is actually kind of, kind of cute and kind of funny. I actually am going to name her Ducky. Welcome to the tribe. I don't know, it just, it fits. It fits for me for some reason. I like it. Alright, and then little baby boy. Um, I kind of want to go back towards the naming them after what their um, food eats. I want to name him Chestnut. Welcome to the tribe, little one. <laughs> They're both really adorable. Alright. Well, that is all the time that I have for, for this one, unfortunately. So, thank you guys so much for joining me on all these adventures that we are having with them. We're having so much fun. Unfortunately, we're having the death of our first children now, and we're kind of stuck with some of our genetics, unfortunately. I need to start having them mingle and, and mix the genes a little bit more, so we'll have to see. But um, yeah, also leave your naming suggestions in the comment section down below. I need to start working through some, some things and deciding how I'm going to work moving to another island. And um, do please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Thank y'all. Bye-bye.